So in this video I'll show you how to build a Raspberry Pi case with Lego. Let's go. So I started out building a basic prototype just to get the size and design more or less correct. Um, you can do this with any part you have lying around. First we start with a base. For this I used four of these grey 4x6 flat blocks and then just single strips in between. Because the Raspberry Pi doesn't use an even number of, I don't know what you call them, studs or spacings. You can use anything in the center for support, since it won't be seen you can literally use any color. If you want to do something for borders like I did, I chose red. It's entirely up to you. Now just get the Raspberry Pi to check the size. Put blocks on each side just to test that it fits properly. I decided to go with a red, blue, yellow and white color scheme for the edges with a translucent window close to the LED lights. Now if your Raspberry Pi doesn't fit properly into the Lego case, you can very carefully use a file just to smooth the edges just a little bit, just to grind it down to a point where it will fit properly. Now be very careful on the side with the HDMI ports, you don't want to damage that. The side of a GPIO is much easier and you also don't have to be that careful. But try not to break it and only remove the slightest amount of PCB material. Put the Pi back into the case and see that it fits properly and continue with the build. Now on my case is two standard blocks high with an extra uh, layer of uh, thin um, strips. This is just because the WSB port is a bit too high. Now you can mix and match parts until you find something that fits properly. For the top of the enclosure I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do so I just put on a bunch of random pieces until it was completely flat and we will support this later on so don't worry about it now. Now I really wanted to have two windows, one for the heat of the CPU. Um, I now already have a heatsink on it but it still gets quite warm and another window above the indicator lights. Underneath the windows I put these um, strips that didn't have top studs so that the windows don't lock in place. I did this both for the CPU window and the indicator lights window. You can really just mix and match parts until you find something that works for you. When you are finished with your roof design, try remove it without breaking everything like I did. Um, if it breaks just reassemble it and then underneath you can just add support. Now since this won't be seen you can add any color you want, um, it really doesn't matter. All it needs to do is support the structure so it doesn't break easily. Now reinsert your Raspberry Pi and snap on the roof. And there you have it, a completely functional Raspberry Pi case completely made of Lego. Um, I made mine out of Lego because at the time when I bought a Pi I didn't buy a case for it and I really didn't want to wait two weeks for it to get delivered to me. Plus we had like Lego lying around. All the ports are available except for the GPIO. Um, if you require the GPIO just create a hole in the roof or just be creative. Um, the Raspberry Pi slides a little bit from the left to right inside the case but this is fine and I'm actually quite satisfied with the entire project. It was easy and it was quick um, plus it was fun to play with Lego again. You can clearly see the indicator lights through the top window and through the side translucent panel. Um, this is just to help you if you this is just to help you troubleshoot problems like if the Ethernet isn't connected or if it doesn't have power or some random problem like that. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick how-to guide. Um, if you liked this video, please subscribe and there will be a link on screen to one of my previous videos. I did a very nice teardown of some 
moving head light fixtures that he's in shows. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day.